everyone. Uh, welcome. Been a long time since I streamed. Uh, Blue Boy, say hello to the people. Hello, people. Boom. Beautiful. Um, there's that for you. It's going to switch over. Oh my gosh. There we go. There we go. Okay. All right, uh, how's everybody doing? Uh, uh, um, it's been a while since I got this loan through. We are, let me start this up. We are um, 195 days away from going to jail. Blue Boy, how do you feel about that? I'm just living every day like it's my last day. <laughs> <laughs> me too, man. I can't, I mean, <laughs> what are we gonna do? You know what I mean? Um, I don't know. So, tonight's call is, by request, is Will has amnesia. Uh, it's part one. Fair warning, guys. The first part of this is closet talk. Uh, however, it does pick up in the back half. Uh, the Will, Will amnesia arc, I tried to figure out today how, how much happens in that. The problem being that when it started... Um, Someone was trying to, not sabotage, but definitely ruin the credibility of Jamie. Um, was so, it wrote as cheap to see? <laughs> no, surprisingly enough, no. Um, no. So, okay, this 95 days is too big. Um, but uh, this one's not bad, so we'll get into it here in a second. Sorry, I'm sorry. I have not heard this call yet, right? I don't believe you have. Okay. So it's new for all of us. It's new for the... Exciting. Yeah. Again, I'm, I'm fair to say that the first half is, is going to be awful. Okay. Um, uh, Dan, Dan's, Dan, 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 he's the man. Sorry. All together it looked like uh, something else. He's my man. Sorry. Uh, can I get a yellow and a yes, sir? A yellow! I'm, not, I'm just going to yell the word. Was I supposed to say the other part? Sure. Yes, sir. Yeah, who? Like that? Uh, yes, sir. Sure. Thank you, uh, Dan Dan. Uh, Bartek also says, since I don't have clobber to burn, it's your turn now. Why do all Reborn streams insist on wallowing in such mediocrity? Boom, roasted. That was a good one, Bartek. I like that a lot. Mm -hmm. I feel like a fool. I was missing something. Sorry, hold on. Sorry guys, uh, it's been a while, so I'm a little rusty here. Get the chat on screen. Uh, yeah, I'll make a video at some point explaining who this woman is, because she's worth laughing at. Um, Alright, let's get this call, sorry. Hello? Hello? Hi, I'm Nick. Ugh, happy warm. Is Jamie in the Can hospital right now? Yes. Uh, so does she not have a voice? She does. She yeah. She never has a voice. The the only stuff I'll play is from when Jamie's lost her voice onward for the most part. Uh, I think the robot's already been introduced at this point. Okay. So, but the so the Darth Vader breath, uh, ventilator, as time went on, it slowly just kind of. Every day, the volume of it would get lower and lower to the point where you could barely hear it. And then at one point, he goes, "Honey, you're off your ventilator." And he goes, and she's like, "Yes." <laughs> <laughs> like, so that's great. Okay. Yeah. Hello. Uh, Zach wants a what's wrong, Jamie? And a uh, blue boy, he wants you to do a. Did you just say fuck you to Jamie, you little piece of shit? <laughs> did you just say fuck you to Jamie, you little piece of shit? Oh, I said fuck you too! <laughs> Hello, everyone. Alright. So something happens. When he's whooping that. Well, not anymore. Uh, if anyone didn't see this last time we streamed, it, Winnie's got a huge shit stain on her jeans. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Also around this time is when um, there was a code word introduced. B 
because someone was calling from Jamie's number and it was not Jamie. So that's where the Waldo comes in. It, it shows up here in the next couple of calls. Hi, honey. Can you hear me? Hello. Hey, there she is. I missed you. Ugh. I have a question. I know, right? I need yes, to... honey. This is 2K22. Last year's game. Did you get a permit for my closet? Did I get a, a, a permit? Yes. Uh, yeah, I got a permit. I got a permit like two years ago. <laughs> Gave them the $20, but they haven't, uh, they still haven't given me the, the paper for it yet. They were supposed to give it to me that same day. I gave them $20. Uh huh. And I, I said, what about the permit? And she said, just go ahead and do it. She said, we got you on record that, and we got your drawing, so. She said, you're right. <laughs> we got go your drawing. They got the drawing? <laughs> <That's so laughs> no, Did he uh, draw them a picture town. in the closet? Uh, probably. I mean, holy shit. I would seen... love to see what that was. I would too, actually. I don't think he ever sent that. You've seen photos of his, or uh, have you seen his drawings of, like, properties and houses he wanted to make uh i have they they're kind of just like little squares for the most part yeah and uh it's weird that he's he's actually kind of good at drawing like the weird sex position i will say that's a better drawing than yeah he did that really well um, yeah he put effort into that one do you remember when he drew the house for jamie and there was a spiral staircase and the size of the staircase based on the drawing, oh yes the house would have yeah. been humongous do you have that picture <laughs> um i'll have to look for it i don't know when it happened i'll, I'll oh, try and show through. people that that's a good one they don't make a big deal out of them if it was a city it'd be different but it's a small town so they don't make a big deal out of it at all the okay. same guy the same guy that writes off the permits for the for the fires is the same guy that does the permits the building permits I don't know if I'm going to find this drawing, to be honest so, with you. He's, I guess he's like mm -hmm. a cheap... I don't really want to go through the uh, Lauren Cock photos to try and... <laughs> the fire I don't blame you there. Yeah. Because there's no police department here. The police department discovered the police department. Sex or sheriff's department. Wait, how did you have the permit already? Did I have the permit already? I had the permit like two years ago. Why? Why? Because I started it two years ago. But then I couldn't finish it last year because I wound up being incarcerated. I thought it was for me. If it was, well, it is for you now. I started building no. this grid. Now, yeah, because you'll use them all and I have them. I had to, had to build Who something. Was it for before? It was for Wendy before. Well, it was for Wendy. It was actually for me before because it wasn't even for Wendy then. When did the closet it start? Was, was that before. Ramona? It, it was. Um, I think it was Ramona. He started it, yeah, and okay. then. And then I know with Winnie it was a big deal. Like they talked about it. They were, you know, she's gonna have a window for, to sell drugs out of and yada yada. Like a drive-through. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's perfect. A drive-through drug deal, I guess. And Lauren was like, "You can't sell drugs," but she just kept saying she was gonna do that. Um, and then I think he even asked Jamie if she wanted a window. I can't remember. Did he ever tell Casey that she was getting that closet? Was that her closet or? Um. I, I don't remember. Wasn't he going to put a skylight in it, too? Oh, God. Probably. He was going to put this big-ass chandelier in there, too. Cause Jane, yeah, Jane this was one crazy closet. I mean, you'd think it was a fucking club or something with how much room there is. A <laughs> chandelier in the closet? Okay. <laughs> I want a chandelier. It's fancy. Me, then me and Woody... When I, when I decided to build it, I don't think I was even with Winnie when I decided to build it. I know it wasn't, it wasn't with Woody because I built this I don't closet it. for this. I built this closet for the furnace, and after I built the closet for the furnace, I don't think the closet, the closet furnace, was ever Casey's because he was supposed to go to California. There we go. 
That yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. Which was good because then you didn't have to deal with closet talk, right? Yeah. Which is a, always a plus. And then we're gonna oh shit! And then we're gonna we uh, we're gonna put a chandelier. He put a sink in the closet. And a toilet paper roll on the wall. Yes, paper towel. Um, Whatever. Same shit. I don't know. Yeah. Then he then he used it as an office, a walk-in office. <laughs> but kept the paper towels on the wall. You know, just in case he's got to wash his hands or something. <laughs> it's the dumbest fucking. I really want to find that design he made for the automatic shoe rack thing. I still don't understand how it works. Oh, that was great. And, it ha and there was a part of it that would fold the clothes automatically too, right? Something like that. It was this weird... I don't even know. Like, it... it I don't know what the purpose of it was. It's like, uh, you know, it, it goes up and you put your shoes in it and then it goes down. And your shoes are still in it. It's supposed to... I don't know. It was fucking I weird. can't remember exactly why he thought that was like something they needed because yeah, it's very know. easy just to take your shoes off but i can't remember what the machine actually did i i really don't remember uh i was trying I do to remember folding clothes though see i don't even remember that part but that's that's interesting to know uh i was trying to explain to someone the other day and i'm like i swear this is a thing i swear this happened <laughs> you know all right anyways Look at, Mike's, look at Mike Scott's little picture. Mike Scott's? Look at Mike Scott's picture. Holy... How, how are you getting away <laughs> with that, bro? <laughs> how are you getting away with that? <laughs> On the bedroom. Because I've got no, no good closet in there and no room. <laughs> You've not been shut down. <laughs> put anything. Katie, go ahead and be good, please. Silly. I, I thought I've got no room in there. Uh, Dan, Dan, he, uh, he is my man. Uh, donated and said, "You guys make these calls so much better. Thank you, much love." Oh, thank you, Dan, Dan. Thank you. It's like Bam Bam from uh, Flintstones, but Dan. <laughs> hey, Dick. I've got no room in there to put my clothes or anything like that, and I just needed more space because it was too small. So that's when I decided to build the closet. I wasn't even with Winnie oh, when shit, I decided dude, to build this is the it. match right here. Oh, Jordan. The state of Maine championship. Why are you wondering, wondering about that? Yeah, look, he has only two pairs of jeans, and, like, he wears three shirts. <laughs> yeah, he's got, like, two tank tops he wears all the time, and, and then a couple of pants. Oh, well, it's weird you said for Winnie immediately then caught yourself. Well, um, I taught myself because I decided to build before I even met Winnie. I, re I realized that before I met Winnie that I decided to build. But when I decided, it was after I decided to build it, I had actually started building it when I met Winnie. Because I had, I had already put the, the concrete in the ground for the post <laughs> to sit on. And I started the frame to it. And Real quick, that's all he had when he started talking yeah. to Jamie. He only had like the base, the floor base, and then that was it, right? And the tarp over it, something like that. I hate the closet so much. Oh, uh, donation. Uh, we got a Ramona's diaper said. Uh, so is a lullet a Cornville mullet a skullet? Do you want to answer that one, Blue Boy? Are you here? Um, it is a. It is a spin on Bullet Club, which is a Japanese wrestling. Group, we're American. You wouldn't know unless you're a mark like us. Yeah, unless you're a mark. Uh, and then the sweet logo with the uh, Bud Lights and the cigarette and the and the Bluetooth. Yeah. State of Maine Championships online right now, guys. It's very important. Then I met. That's when I met Winnie. Was during that, and I told her about it. She she wanted it. Then she uh. Wanted it to be her closet. No, no, pill, pill I, I said that's fine because, you know, walking closet, women have a lot of clothes. So, why not build it for, for the woman? So, that me and me and Winnie didn't work. And now it's it's yours. That's going to be built the way you want it. The guy in the green trunks is Rod. 
Um, Rod is the only person on the roster I think dressed to wrestle. Yeah. <laughs> he never. We never had a description for him, so we made him a a nerdy little wrestling guy. We made. We not only we made him a, a nerd, we made him a mark as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's got this greasy fucking hair. Okay. Are you going to cut a hole in the wall? And I gonna, am I going to put a hole in the wall? For the window? For access. For what? For access. I think she's referencing uh, the window when he wanted. For access. For, for uh, yeah, access. yeah. Where the where the where the window is right now. Uh, that's that's where I'm going to put the hole in the wall. I'm, Why would I'm, you want I'm, a window in the closet? I actually thought about <laughs> putting bifolding doors. Like, what, what are you what, what are you doing in your closet all day? <laughs> Why do right. you need a window? He's about to talk about bifolding uh, uh, doors as well that let heat in in case you need to sit in your closet. What the fuck? All day. To... What are you doing in your okay. closet that long? You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm assuming he has her chained up in there. Well, that's true. Okay, when you say it like that, you know. <laughs> Rod's going off. Um, Ramona's diaper says Winnie's uh, Winnie with the shit stain is epic. Thank you. Um, that, I think that was your idea, actually, Blue Boy. It was. Well, yeah, it turned out good. It turned. What out is Rod good. doing? Rod's just fucking up. He's being embarrassed by this man in gold shoes. Right now, uh, that's that's where I'm going to put the hole in the wall. I'm, I'm going to. I actually thought about putting bifolding doors there. So that way he gets in there and everything. We don't have to put a, a, a duck bend in there or anything like that. Yeah, at this point, Rod but, hadn't uh, won shit. He the bifolding doors. He's a loser. And I thought it would look nice with bifolding doors, too. Some sweet bifolding doors, huh, Blue Boy? That gets your blood pumping. I have another idea. To... <laughs> what? Bifolding? What are those? I'm not a uh, It's like those closet doors. With the, I'll send you a photo when you see it. You'll be like, oh, oh, oh no, I know what they are. Okay, I looked them up. Yeah, and, and that's supposed to help. Let with heat into the closet. Can't a regular door do that as well? Um. Well, see, he doesn't have the hooked up in this new room he has, so you got to pump it in from another area. You know. I'm lost. I don't know, dude. I, it's the dumbest fucking thing. Again, I don't know why you need heating in your closet, but here we are. Who knows? Running across you. That Roy just. Well, the heat will Roy go from be folded doors. What's that? The heat will go through be folded doors. Yeah, the heat will go through by folding doors because it's like vents. It looks like That's a true, vent. Scott. By folding doors. They're, they're wood. Actually, I can take. I hope he says by folding door one more time. Outside. Yeah, say it again, Warren. I have to refine or something. So I can take a picture of them for you, so that you can see what they are. Ah, uh, a door that is like a vent. That makes sense. Yeah, it, it, it will when you see it. I know you've seen them before. But Roy mentioned something to me today when he was here that might change the looks of it. Where did you get the doors? Um, I know Cornville Freeway is crazy. Honest is honest Lord, auction, I think. Very athletic. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> no, Lauren was hesitant to stay where he got the bifolding doors. I assume they were from the dump. Because uh, <laughs> he probably. paused for a minute and it was like, uh, the auction. The uh, auction. I'm sure they were from the dump. And I think at, I think even at this point, Jamie had given him shit about the dump. So of course, it couldn't be from the dump. I think he found a couple fridges at the dump, and one of them he uses in his house currently. Sorry. I remember that because he asked Trailer. Jamie which one she wanted, and there was one that was like way nicer than the one that we had him put in there. Yes. Yeah. He had two refriger refrigerators. Like Jamie, pick one. <laughs> Jamie like, picks like this dirty like it's supposed to be white but it's yellow and it has like no ice maker or water dispenser and you can tell Lauren wanted her to pick the, the nice one mm -hmm. 
and uh, she Pick didn't. The worst one. Yeah. So he would like <laughs> reluctantly put it in the house any or in the trailer. Doesn't... Anyways, even though I mean, just make a decision for yourself, dude. <laughs> he can't. If you want the nice refrigerator in there, put it in there. Yeah, he can't though. Like everything. I mean, I, he did it with Casey too. But I know every decision that he had his way. Jamie, uh, yeah. What do you think I should do? It's like think yeah. for yourself. And you can tell he wa- yeah. And he wanted the other one. The other one was black. And, like it looked fairly decent. Yeah. I mean, it was still a dump trailer or a dump. Uh, a dump tra- refrigerator, a dump fridge, but yeah. <laughs> Probably smelled like, but, you know, raccoon feces or something. But he's like, you sure you want this one? It's like, yep, you've yep. asked her 15 times, dude. Just put the one in there you want. Yep, definitely want that one, you know. Um, yeah, he's just... I, I can't imagine not being able to make... a ba- Sometimes it's like the most basic decisions. Yeah. And he just won't. He won't do it. Um, but hey... Here we are. Uh, Gorilla Face Gwen says, uh, you have a heated closet to dry out your clothes for, from having a gaping hole in the rest of the trailer, 87. That's a good point. That is a great point. I, I never thought of it that way. <laughs> Thank you, Gorilla Face Gwen. And Ramona Diaper and Dan. Anyone else I missed? Aha, Jern. Uh, just real quick, not that anyone cares, but... Uh, as far as the champions being crowned in this, we just had like an eight man match, first person, last person standing won the belts, right, Blue Boy? Yes. That's how it was done. So it's not like we just gave this to him, somehow he earned it. But Roy mentioned something to me today that could change the, the, that I could do. Well, if he thinks that I should start right up to, from the peak of the roof and and go all the way down instead of just going like I did on the <laughs> thanks out there loser yeah, appreciate it <laughs> on the furnace closet furnace closet if you look at the picture that I tell you on of the furnace where, of the closet where the furnace is at there I don't you know what roof. you are saying okay um Okay, I'm going to have you do this. Because I, I took some pictures that I was going to send to you. Because I was going to run this idea by you. So, so hang up and let me send these pictures to you. And after you get the pictures, call me back, okay? Oh, Blue Boy, I believe you have a question in the um, in the chat there. Uh, okay. Um, Mike Scott wants to know if we're going to hear the call where Lon and brother put a blanket up in Mom's, Mama Gwen's cat and they played meat market with each other's cock. Oh, oh yeah, everything's going up. I'm not I'm not going to pick and choose. Oh, everything's going to go up. Uh, and uh, it's a brutal one. I think it happens during the thruple stuff, I think. Uh, I Maybe. It, you know, I sometimes I block that kind of shit out. Not like... It was you know, pretty like, fucked. But, you know... Yeah. <laughs> Um, Jill Poe, how long have you and Reborn been friends? Um, well, I wasn't around for this call, so when was this? 2020. April. Sometime after that. Yeah. Um, Noel asked a question, and it wasn't answered. I'm sorry. Oh, no. We're sorry, bud. Where was it? Oh, well. Uh, Great Bapsby has donated and said, The best thing he has to offer is a closet, not a deck or a nice bedroom or even a patio. A closet. That's a great point. Yeah, why the that. closet? <laughs> I don't know. He should have just, like... I don't... He's obsessed with adding rooms instead of just painting the front mm-hmm. and cleaning it. I always thought It about would the... look significantly better if he were to just take care of what is already there structurally. Right. I think that if he would have just taken what he had and made it nicer instead of trying to add shit, he yeah. probably wouldn't look like he's in a fucking condemned building you know right it doesn't all you gotta do is throw a coat of paint on that thing yeah yeah well not anymore because he tore down all the walls and they're now just bare plywood but i mean at the start it was salvageable i think um yeah it there was a point i remember this uh you probably do too he took all of like his walling down in the in the clot in the kitchen slash living room and there was points where, like, he showed he had nothing there. Like, it was just the frame. And yeah. then he put, I'm going to say dump wood, back up on it. And you could see holes everywhere. Like, they, they were Was that flush. the time? It was, like, two weeks before winter started. 
and he's like, I'm going to tear the wall down. And we're like, okay. Yeah. And he tears the wall down because he wants to extend it, but then it's like, I have to put up a temporary wall because winter starting and it's like well, why the fuck did you do it <laughs> yeah, what was the point dummy and just completely destroyed it it was so weird yeah it's it's bizarre he his thought process is just fucking stupid uh thank you greta sorry i read it wrong greta babsby thank you girl face gwen thank you if i didn't thank you before let's hear more about the closet huh? you hang up but i have news okay this what is what's your news we're gonna wait a bit, but she's got news, guys. I'll tell you later, hang up. Okay. Blue Blue Bjorn. Um a Patty donated and said, um Did you have any major oh shit moments while catfishing? You got any Um Like things that surprised me? I don't know, uh, uh, Platy. If you can in, in chat, can you can you explain what like an oh shit moment would be? You ever seen anything that just makes you say dang? Um, I would assume it's just anything that would make you go oh shit out loud. Um, I think when he lets little things slip, like when he's like, "You tell me you wouldn't fuck a seventeen year old kid." Yeah, it's that... like, those are moments where I'm like, do you not hear yourself, dude? <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, Count of Three's got a good point. I've, I've never catfished anyone. Um, but yeah, that that one was brutal. And yeah. then he tried to, like, backpedal on it. Yeah. <clears throat> um, I remember when uh, Jamie recontacted him and said, uh, and he said he failed that polygraph, and then the answer was, like, weaseled out of him, you know? And he mm -hmm. said something about child porn but there's no way i had child porn we know what the answers or the questions were now but at the time it was like are you fucking kidding me and then yeah it's... go ahead no so getting the psyche though i think was a, a big oh shit moment yeah definitely when you're reading it and he's talking about fantasizing about nine-year-olds um oh she says like moments of panic or they're sorry they are saying moments of panic um oh like when we blew it Maybe not like blue, it, but like something up? was happening. Like the, I would say like the letter where you know they're saying that um, Jamie isn't ringing. I was away. never really concerned about it ending. Like I've said before on many streams, once once I got this the psyche valve from him, I kind of couldn't care less about mm -hmm. any of it because there was like nothing left to do. Yeah, pretty much. I, I could just, like I mean, we're, yeah. we can't. I don't want to just make up fake dudes to have them get jealous over. Yeah, it gets old. You know, over and over again, it gets boring. I mean, they're, he dealt with so many with with, <laughs> with Jamie and yeah. combined. I think it's enough for a lifetime. Um, I'm trying to think of one. I I, I think anytime you got a letter, I mean, after a while you yeah, can the letters walk it are back. always annoying. Uh, you can walk it back, but you got to be like nice for two days. Yeah, something it's you like know, people would never want to do. Is reborn on the juice? Who's reborn? What, when did reborn say he was on rights? <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh, the voice changer going out. I I never had on my end. I can't hear it go mm. out really. I could, <laughs> so I was only told in the chat like they're like voice changer's not working. I was like, oh fuck. Yeah, it'd be like cut out, and then you'd hear yeah, or like some weird noise. And, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what? Yeah, I don't but know. Those are funny because Lauren doesn't say anything. <laughs> yeah, he kind of just ignores it at first. When um, I got the psyche valve, did I immediately get... Yeah, I gave it to everyone in the in the group. I was like, holy fuck. <laughs> <laughs> like, this thing is bad. Uh, thank you, Platy, for the question. Uh, the psych evaluation was not right at the end. I can't remember exactly. It wasn't too uh, far away from the end, though, right? It was, It was. yeah. I think Jamie had already been burned at that point. Yeah. Ooh, jackhammer. I think I'm ahead of the video for you, but, um, <laughs> some void rage thing. Uh, the the um, scamming was pretty amazing. Um, that secret couldn't kept couldn't be kept bottled in. Uh, <laughs> the scamming was funny. I remember when I saw uh, Durango Mango in a chat. I messaged Clover immediately and was like, "I really want to come on your stream and tell you something." <laughs> Please. 
But that was funny. That wasn't like, oh shit, that was like, well, I guess it was still okay. Yeah. He's just, he's so stupid. He fell for all that. Um, his bank account, I was always, always kind of blew me away, just how little money he has. Yeah, he's living off nothing. He's always negative in his bank account. Like, I don't even know what, how he survived. I guess his mother gives him money. Yeah, I, I, I think Will and Jamie both said over and over again that his mom buys his cigarettes. Cause I'm convinced that's But when you have it, like, on a printout and you can see every transaction uh, and things, you're just like, how the fuck have you been doing this for this long? Yeah. Like, I, he's never going to be able to retire or anything. No, no. I don't even think that's part of his plan, you know what I mean? He thinks... No. I mean, he's still trying to do, like, get-rich-quick schemes and shit. So. Yeah. There's, there's no way this man's retiring. What will he do when Gorilla Gwen's gone? That's a great question. Um, he's he's going to struggle. <clears throat> Didn't he say he was going to move to South Carolina? Oh, and be with his aunt? Yeah, because he needs, he needs to mooch off her. Yeah, he's got to mooch off somebody, right? Someone's He'll just leech off of whoever. I'm sure Prepper gives him tons of money. Oh, God. Yeah, probably. I'm not, I'm not even gonna open that can of <laughs> That's speculation. That's all speculation. Uh, <laughs> the thoughts of Blue Boy do not reflect the. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. Hi. You see the pictures I was, I was talking about? I was talking about. Yeah, this person. It's, I suggest Longo back to jail. I like when he says stuff like that, and he's like the taxpayers don't want me to go back to jail and it's like, dude, I would gladly pay like a fee like a subscription thing to have Lauren in jail for the rest of his life. How, how much are you willing to pay subscription fee wise? Let's say I'll per, pay like per month. Per month? Per month. I would be willing to pay $150 a month. <laughs> I think I can swing that just to keep Lauren in prison. That is a, that's a lot a month, but... That's a max I'd go. Yeah, that's, hey... That is Jim Roush. It's Jim Roush versus Chris Hansen. Jim's the uh, the world champ, by the way. Um, how much did you pay? Is that too much? People are saying that's a lot. Well, I guess it's a lot, but I mean, hey, that's someone how much said they pay two hundred a month. Eighty-seven go, a month see. seems fair. I think eighty-seven dollars flat, or eighty-six ninety-nine. You know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I would uh, nine nine ninety-nine. The old. Uh, um, only felon subscription. <laughs> uh, funny enough, when Chris Hansen comes out, the announcer does say Chris Hansen, so just a tidbit. But yeah, I mean, I would definitely pay. I don't know if I'd go as high as 150, but I definitely for the rest of his life, though. So it, I'm assuming that's like what 10 years. Okay. Uh, yeah. So is it like if you stop paying the subscription, he gets out of jail? Yeah. So could it be like other subscriptions where it's like, uh, he uh, <laughs> he gets out of jail for like a week or two, and then you're like, oh, hold on, I'm going to renew my subscription. He has to go right back. Oh yeah, yeah, you can do that. <laughs> That'd be great. Okay, I would just do that to oh, fuck good. with him. Then I'd just be like, yeah, oh, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to pay, and then pay. It might be worse than just being in prison forever. It's just getting to taste freedom every once in a while and then being thrown back in there. <laughs> Sending him back. <laughs> uh, Girl Face Gwen says, I don't mind stepping up as the new Gwen when she visits the great jungle in the sky. Oh. Uh, he won't be rooting through my purse for Siggy money, though. <laughs> uh, thank you, Girl Gwen. I mean, <laughs> the, the great jungle in the sky. <laughs> oh, man. That's good. Uh, by the way, this, uh, not again, not that anyone cares about the lore of 87 wrestling right now, but this feud right here, highly contested. <laughs> uh, Pee Wee says, uh, here's some cheddar to help buy some more roids. Get off the juice. Uh, thanks, Pee Wee, and thanks for your face, Gwen. Wouldn't giving me more money help me get more roids if I were doing them? All right. Can you hear me okay? I see them, but I still don't know what you were explaining. 
Okay. You see that little closet on that very first picture that I show uh, that I sent to you? That's the furnace closet right there. That's the closet that the furnace is in. That's Jim Roush. You see how, how flat that roof? Hold is. on. Hello. Hi, honey. Jim's okay, drunk 24 7. Hey, can you see it? Oh, I think Warren's gonna explain a vaulted ceiling right now. You see yes. how flat it is? Okay. That, that's, that's how flat I was going to make the roof. But Roy mentioned something to me today okay. about bringing it up to the peak of, of, of the roof of the trailer. And then bringing it down like that. So that way it wouldn't be so flat. And then I also thought, um, if I do that... Am I going to be on... Sorry. If someone wants to know if I'm on Wes's channel tomorrow. I... I think... I, we talked about it last night. I was very drunk and I talked to Wes yesterday. I think I'm on the channel tomorrow. I can't remember where we landed on it, but I have a an unreleased Casey call. I think it's the it's I'm so dumb. So the last the last call I released on Wes's stream, there was a a call before that that kind of explains everything, and I'm stupid and didn't even notice it. So I think we'll go with that one um, tomorrow. It's pretty good from what I can remember, but I don't know. I'll ask him. Yeah, you probably have. Then I can make a vaulted ceiling in your closet. Because Jamie's like seven. You want three. that? Correct. A vaulted ceiling? Yeah, in your closet. You know what a vaulted ceiling is, right? No, oh, I've been <laughs> Yeah, I've been muted, thanks. It's where it goes. Uh, I am not reborn, and or I'm reborn, but I'm not Will and all the other ones is what I said. That's about it. And I said vaulted ceiling in a in a closet. There you go, caught up. Up at an angle, so so it's as high as it can be. Oops. It's more for looks. It it, it's, it makes so it's so it feels more more for looks. Okay. It actually goes with the pew with the with the pitch of the roof. Was he about to say pew? I have no fucking idea what's happening. So the, the rest of this trailer is going to have yes, normal open. sized ceilings. Mm -hmm. Except the closet. Except the closet. The closet's going to have a big What on ass... earth is this going to look like from the outside? Um, stupid. That's all I can <laughs> say. I mean, really. <laughs> what else would it look I mean, it... Can you imagine? <laughs> Can you imagine you drive by this place and there's just one room that has this elevated ceiling? Like, <laughs> what goes on in there? Just clothes. Um, the co his COVID relief money he used on auctions, and I think he purchased the land officially from his aunt. Yeah, he right? paid his he paid his aunt back for his land. That was well, because I think his yeah, because his aunt was like, "You're giving me this money." Yeah, his aunt. Like, I don't I think, think he had a choice. Yeah, I think she helped him get unemployment, so Lauren couldn't like weasel his way out of it. She knew how much he was getting, and he was she was getting that money yeah. back, unlike Lauren's yeah. mother. Um. So. Uh, but yeah. Do you land... want a garage in your closet? <laughs> Do you want a garage? There was a point <laughs> where he was talking about a garage, and and Jamie kept saying she wanted the garage on the second floor for whatever reason. 
Um, he did make a carport. Yeah, he did make a carport. He talked about a carport and a garage. He had a lot of projects he wanted to do. He made that carport in like two hours, and it was just a bunch of pieces of plywood nailed together, and then a tarp over it. Beautiful. Yeah, that's like his mobile shed. Remember that thing? The mobile shed. What was that again? That was more or less the same. It was a bunch of sticks thrown together, or wood thrown together, and then like a tarp over it, and then he put, um, like two wheels on one side of it so that he could back <gasps> oh, it up. And I remember. It, it looked like he sent us a picture of that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we gotta find that to show everyone. That one was great. Yeah, it's fucking garbage. And apparently he just put his yard sale garbage under it. So. (laughs) Yeah, okay. Absolutely. You want me to do that? I think you'll like it a lot better. Yes, that sounds wonderful. Okay. And I got... I got Roy to make me a list of stuff that I need to get at Home Depot for the... So we can hook up the tub and the shower and... And... I don't um, think Lauren's on a dating app. No, he would threaten it, though, but he can't go on a dating app. I don't think his phone could even... has that capability. I think he's blocked from almost all social media, though I do remember them saying something about dating apps to him before. He said they mentioned dating apps, and he was like, I want to do it. I, I weren't going to do it. That's not me. I want something real. I want something real. I want something face-to-face. Touch machine. And there's uh, where your makeup I wish he was on a dating app, be. though. It'd be great. Oh, man, I'd love to find him on there. And, It'd know. be so much easier to catfish him. Yeah. He'd be getting hit with everybody. Everyone everyone he talks to on that app would be crazy. Everyone in the community has like their own channel role catfishing him simultaneously. Right, like if it's not someone from here, it'd be like a <laughs> scammer, you know? Yeah. Uh Winnie Syllable says, uh so Aunt Sharon made uh Lauren pay off the land before paying Mama Gwen. Yes. Well yes. I don't know if it was more of that, it was more like Aunt Sharon was getting her money and she you know she knew she was gonna get it. Something like that. When is Jamie going to make an appearance on the show? Uh, she's busy doing porn stuff, so she probably won't come on. It's going to be up against the wall, but behind that wall, attached to the to the master bathroom, there's going to be another little room that is for laundry. And we'll put the put the washer and dryer in there. So that way it gives more room in the master bathroom for sheets and towels and, wow. and uh, whatever stuff you want to put in there. That's great. So one. Make an extra closet in there. An extra closet? And we'll be able to separate in the closet. separate room to do laundry in. It'll be just a small room, but it'll still be a separate room, so it'll give us more space. What the fuck would the purpose of that be? Hold on. So he said he's going to... He's gonna make a room for the laundry so that they have more room. Wouldn't it take up the same amount of He's space? He's going to make a, a room specifically for folding laundry. <laughs> just folding. Uh, hey, That's you. what I think he just said. He probably did. I mean... He, I heard him say that he's gonna make, he's gonna do one part for the laundry, for the washer and dryer, and that was gonna give them more space. But I don't understand how. I mean, there's no space in that place to begin with with all the garbage. But apparently, you know, whatever. He's a fucking idiot. I don't know why I'm trying to think of his logic here. Right. How much does he owe his mother? Um, when he was with Jamie. It was like 5k or something. Jim just tapped. Something like that, 5k. Okay. Sure thing. Okay. And what would you news you were going to tell me? It's not good. Oh no. Oh no, here we go. 
What happened? Well, it is, but it isn't. It is, but it isn't. Will is awake. Well, that's good. Your gym was bleeding a little bit. So why isn't it... Why isn't it good news? News. I think at one point he said he knocked. I don't his... know if it was from his heart stopping, but he is having memory issues. I think he, I think he paid back his mom a little bit, but it, I mean it was have, still have minuscule. Have a little bit. How much has he forgot? Does he know who you are? Yes. <laughs> okay. What does he not know? Was Will in a coma? Will was in a coma, yes. Much like everyone I wish else. Casey had gotten into a coma at one yeah. point. Just because all of them have been in comas. It would have been great. I mean, Lauren has known six people in comas. When he was in a coma, right? Rotor went into a when coma? When he has been... <laughs> yeah. Debbie, um, Debbie was in a coma? It, Jamie was in a coma. Will was in a coma. Is there anyone else? Damn, I wish Ramona was in a coma. Damn, and Casey. Yeah. Everyone needs to be in a coma. <laughs> Next person talking to Lauren, go, go to a coma. How often did Lauren get dildos in the mail? Some guy was sending him several dildos. I don't, I don't, do we know who that was? Yeah, I'm not going to say who it was. Though. Okay. Someone in this community was sending him dildos all the time. Yeah, and magazines and shit. Yeah. Kind of weird. <laughs> But, I mean, can't really talk. Jamie sent him a dog. <laughs> he has a few facts turned around in his head. Like what? Oh, what could it have been? What has turned around? Lauren Roscoe going at it again, too. Sweet. He thinks you and Winnie are together. Oh god. <laughs> no. We're gonna straighten him out about that one. Did you tell him that? I don't that think a dildo would get more in trouble for anything. He thinks him and I are engaged. Oh god. No. Uh, you definitely gotta straighten him out on that. Gotta straighten him out on that. The guy, the guy that has him. Why would he think that? He remembers putting the ring on my finger. Oh yeah, Pee Wee. Uh, I cannot take credit for this. This is a video game. I just made all the characters with with help from friends. So it's. Uh, have you have you explained the will proposing to her thing? Oh right, I don't think I have. Um, that's that's pretty funny. So, uh, Lorne. Lauren asked Will to get him a ring for Jamie and to give it uh, and to give it to this is this is not fire pro wrestling he was like oh yeah we'll uh, get like a thousand dollar ring I don't even know if he set a price but said give it to her and propose to her for me say this is from Lauren um, it's exactly how I'd want to propose to uh, my girlfriend yeah oh absolutely yeah can you do it for me bro yeah, can, and hey, it's her ex-boyfriend. That's even weirder. Yeah, hey, Blue Boy, I got this ring. Do you mind giving it to <laughs> someone for me? Sure. Uh, but yeah, so Will did it. So now that he has amnesia, he thinks that he actually proposed to Jamie is what it is. And I think there's a point after this where she explains that Will was in like a suit and made her wear a really nice dress. <laughs> 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 did it like legit... Did we cover that aspect before? We may have. I Pro it, probably. It's knows? so long. I don't but know. A, and there's new people it's too. It's a good reminder. Yeah. It's a good reminder for where this call is gonna go, right? Uh yeah, yeah, definitely. Once Will wakes up from his little nappy poo, so. Uh. I'm pulling did for Ross. Straighten him out about match, it. By the way, just. Or did you just let him believe that?
Or did you just let them believe it? He was going to pay Will back for the ring. It wasn't just a buy me a ring, Will. He wouldn't listen. And I didn't want to shock him because of him dying twice, so I went with it. Well, you kind of have to listen if you're telling him. You got to strain him out. Mm -hmm. He is asleep beside me right now. Yes, Will died twice and came back. He's, he's okay. uh, resuscitated. Well, you gotta get him straightened out on that. But I have no idea why you would think that. Um, I want a biscuit. Says I heard both of you mention a woman that was a ho was a homeless sex worker who Lauren wanted to live with. Also, that Lauren was stalking her around town. Is there more to the story? Uh, <clears throat> thank you. I want a biscuit. Uh, there's that's pretty much the story. Um, was she a sex worker? It's it was implied. Um, she was meeting Roy at hotels in ho in hotels <laughs> and doing drugs in the hotels. I think not with Roy, yeah. but by herself. And uh, Roy or er, Roy couldn't afford the hotels much anymore, and Lauren offered for them to stay in the metal shed. No, he offered Roy to stay in the metal shed. The girl can stay in the house, right? No, no, no. He offered both of them the metal shed, and then Jamie was like, you are fucking rude. Offer them... You have a spare room. You should let them stay in the spare room. So then he offered the spare room, and when they got there, when she got there, and he, she was like, go fuck yourself. I remember she was like, are you kidding? You want, I'm not living here. Like, yeah. this homeless prostitute would <laughs> yeah. go in there. I think that I think that he hadn't mentioned the spare room yet. So when she showed up, she saw the metal shed and said, "I'm not living in this fucking dump" or something yeah. like that. And Lauren got like set even off. for free. He was supposed to call Jamie when she showed up. However, he did not. So uh, this is all based on what Lauren said. But he was furious. And did we hear her say she was? He was following her in the truck, or did he? No, just say Lauren that to us? said that she said that, and that she was said what set she would. Off. Yeah, she said like I've seen you, you follow me around me town truck? or something. I've seen your truck before. Yeah. You've been following me around town. Something like that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, she was like, "No." And then he goes, "I didn't even get to the point where I told her she could stay in the house." <laughs> you know? So, um, I don't even know when that occurred at this point. Um, but I think that oh, Lauren doing the handspring. That's coming up. Sorry. <laughs> um, I think Lauren called with Jamie on the phone and you could hear her. I think she talked to him one time or something. I don't know, but oh, what a cheater. Um, whose idea was it to invent Case 3 and were you guys excited when you heard about how close the voice sounded to the nasally squeaky Casey Moreau voice? Um, I don't think the voice sounds anything like her. Yeah. But um, whose idea was it I, that might have been your idea right because you were the first one to send him an email uh, uh i think it was a yeah i think it was a hive mind kind of thing or whatever the hell you want to say uh he had messaged jamie about a conversation with chris hansen and Lauren, lauren's response was in there saying something about you can give my email to casey so yeah casey emailed him yeah he asked chris to get in contact with her so yeah Oh shit, Chris Hansen's coming out again. Chris Hansen. I don't think I would have wanted to be Casey, but I mean, the opportunity presented itself. It gave, it like, gave, I wish um, I could have been a separate girl. Yeah, it, it gave a lot of uh, leeway to things, though, too. Like, he loves Casey, so, you know, he yeah. could act like a piece of shit to him nonstop, and he'd still hang on hope that he's getting his dream girl, as he would put it, you know? Mm hmm. Is there any other than anything else that he has mixed around, or is it just that? Why would I let him believe it? I don't like what you're implying. Yeah, he understands uh, Tiffany's voice and, like, could catch on to it, sort of. Uh, but at the same time, he, I mean, he did it with, with Will, too. There was a point where... Uh, Rod is supposed to be in the room and um, he catches on that it's Will uh, it's a threpple call and then he says it sounds like Mark it's very weird it was one of the few times it was like holy shit he can there's no shit moment it's like 
if, if you have a very distinct voice, you'd be able to tell. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I do, but I mean, Tiffany for sure. I think he'd remember Will if you called him. Probably. And yeah. you tried being someone else. I feel like he would know it too. Yeah, especially if you call up and go yellow. You know, it's gonna be game over. Yeah. <laughs> What's the deal with the big black dildo? I heard it was tipped, dipped in a trash can or something. Uh, not a trash can. Um, it was like cheese and yogurt or something. And then I can't remember the concoction anymore. And then it sat in the heat or something like that. I don't know. Tuna juice. Tuna juice. Yeah, because of course, the cliched smell, right? <laughs> oh, God. Kayfabe never falls apart. Uh, this is all just... Uh, Listen, I'm not killing the business. We're not killing the business here. Right, Blue Boy? Right. Yeah. I mean, the business has been exposed years ago. No, honey, that's not what I'm saying. Yeah, I don't know. Um, LJ was very short-lived. and You're already uh, told him. He doesn't remember Wait, Lair or Rhoda. Also, fun fact for y'all. Uh, when Will was introduced, Will had a completely different voice. He, he, well, not a completely different voice. It was more like the Will now, but with like a southern weird accent. Um, kind of sounded like WMD, but not really. It's pretty uh, interesting. Is it true Wine Lover sent him to Dildo and came up with Lorne Logic? Um, she did come up with Lorne Logic, right? Uh, I think that was her thing. Yeah, I don't even use that. Um, um, no, but no, she, she did not send the Dildo. No, that wasn't her idea at all. <laughs> She, the only thing she had to do with that was, I guess, being on the phone with him. Well, yeah, there's Gigi, too. Well, Gigi... No, Gigi is different. Gigi was not a southern accent. That was a completely different person. Something like that. Wait, what? Emma did... Emma did what? That's right, Babsby. That's exactly it. She was listening when she w when he was sent the dildo. Oh, so it's her idea. That's a good point, I guess. You know, same with like the the coon face. She had nothing to do with that. So, really? Wow. You have his phone. Sort of remembers Debbie. <laughs> Why would he remember Debbie? You have his phone, right? Did Lauren ever reach out to Will yes. after he found out he was... No. Uh, um, he never reached out to Will. He didn't reach out to Jamie or Will after he, f quote, figured it out. Uh, but he was talking to Casey at the time, I believe, right? Something like that. Yeah, Mike Scott, something like that. Something like that. Okay. He's got pictures on his phone, I'm sure. No, he doesn't. <laughs> oh, that was me, you stupid bitch. <laughs> ah, you piece of <laughs> shit! Um, I thought I saw another question. Sorry, guys. Alright, let's... It's, it'll, it'll pick up now. Huh? Chris Hansen no, he doesn't. Is right now is going crazy. He doesn't? Oh, God. I'm sure his memory will come back. Um, Dan, he thought that Winnie and Emmer were the same person until he stopped talking to Jamie and Will. <laughs> GG was Lauren's MJF. <laughs> That's a pretty good one. You want to hurt Debbie? Give me the thrashing. I don't know how that would affect his memory. Ba uh, Babsby, I'm sorry. The I, I guess the mail's really slow with the uh, Cummins. Oh, this, this crap is upsetting. This is upsetting. He told me before we started working together that when he broke his phone. No, he doesn't think they're separate people now. He he just thought it when he was talking to Jamie. Again, letter writers, you know, yada yada. So he had to get a new one. Lost all his photos. Lauren's whooping yeah. that ass on Chris Hampson right now.
This is upsetting. Okay, Dan, I, I don't know if you're, you're following here. He thought that Winnie and Emma were the same person while he was talking to Jamie and Will. When they weren't real, none of them were real. Now he's gonna Lack be of a oxygen to the brain when he died is what they said. Chris, Chris Hansen just took well, the that pen makes from, sense. from uh, Warren. Maybe would Lauren, okay. would you give Lauren a naked tombstone for a hundred <laughs> grand? <laughs> Blue boy, you want to answer that? No. <laughs> you wouldn't give him a naked tombstone? Who's naked? Is Lauren naked? Or I you... assume Lauren's the naked one. I would assume. I mean, he's always naked. So for a hundred grand, you're not going to tombstone him while he's naked? I don't think, no. No. hundred grand's tempting. <laughs> yeah. We should come back, though. <laughs> Both naked? I don't know. He's sleeping like a baby cuddled up on my arm. <laughs> I don't think I can lift arm. Lorne up into a tombstone. Why is he cuddled up on your arm? I don't think it could either. I like that Will and Jamie are sleeping in the same hospital bed together. Yes. I told you he got into my bed. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah, I'd be, like, legitimately <laughs> tombstoning him. What the hell? Hey, mate. Jesus Christ. He's got his own bed. He's in the hospital. Why is he in your... Damn it! <laughs> Same shit all over again. <laughs> God damn, damn. God damn. So fucking like, sick of this kind out, of shit. Dude. You know how to tell him not to be in your bed. Oh, no. This is the fucking ridiculous. Can we give him a break? The dude's heart stopped twice. <laughs> <laughs> just let him believe it for now. He's asleep. I turned her down twice. Yeah, he's like, he's just let him let the man sleep. He's gone through enough. Like, he's like, yeah. The man through. wants to think he's engaged to her right now. Just fucking let him have it. Yeah. Um. I know. Okay. So reborn. I know that you don't play Jamie. What was the angriest Lauren that ever made you or over and over what? You got an answer for that one? That was for Jamie. I know, but I'm asking, is there a moment you can think of that made you so angry at him? I'll say any time the, the truth of Lauren was reminded to me, that's a terrible way of wording it. Like, how do I explain this? Long-time listeners, <laughs> uh, there would be streams where I would open it up with, like, uh, everyone needs to be reminded that Lauren's a piece of shit and what he's done and yada yada. Those were the days where... Odds are Jamie found out something about Lauren and, like, his charge, like, uh, the DD-87, or he failed the polygraph for something like child porn, yada yada. Those would probably be the most mad, I think. And the fact that he just doesn't listen. I can't believe we're going through this shit again! Um, Dinosaur Tornado has a question. Uh, in your opinion, what, which catfish was Lauren most emotionally invested in? You got an answer um, for that one? I'm trying to think. Um, 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 maybe Debbie? I feel like he, he really liked a Debbie. Yeah, I think he's infatuated with Debbie. <laughs> um, um, it's hard to say. Uh, well, I wouldn't say... The reason I wouldn't say the robot or Winnie is because he left them for another woman. That is true. Ramona, I feel like he that technically could be didn't a good leave one. Ramona. Ramona left him, right? Yeah. That's hard to say. Um cuz I think there's moments with all of them where he acts very emotionally invested into them. Um he said things to Jamie that were just crazy. Um but he also put up with Winnie for so long and was willing to be with this woman that just cheated on him constantly <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> shit herself you know but i think he liked that debbie was like a normal person yes and uh he was expecting her to like change him into a Fix better him. person kind of yeah you know because i mean that go fuck your cocksuckers call is still my favorite call of all time where he is just the most pathetic 
Yeah, that's true. Give me a chance. Give me a chance. Is crying about it? Like, bro, if she had ended that call being like, all right, I'll give you a chance. Is that really what you want? Like, you're going to leave me like, all right. Like, <laughs> well, this is good. He would. <laughs> Normal people. Like, if you, have to, if you have to beg and she's like, oh, fine. Yeah, that's brutal. Like, are you getting off that call being like, hell yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I would go with you then. Yeah, I'd say Debbie because he was, he wanted that so bad and mm -hmm. didn't. Um, uh, real quick. For oh, those, and also, go ahead. Yep. if he didn't get, I feel like with Debbie too is like, he knew if that didn't work out, like he wasn't going to get Winnie back after that, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like his last attempt to like get his, a girlfriend. Maybe this is his last chance at love. Yeah. Like he, cause he really fucked that one up. He should have just stayed with Winnie. He really did. And then tried to blame Debbie for it, even though it was all his fault. Uh, if you guys didn't see, Sheffrey is in is fighting right now. Just need to put that out there. Sheffrey's on the roster. Why would you just let him get in your goddamn bed? <laughs> oh, no. Unfucking believable. Jeffrey just hit he a thinks I'm his wife. I told him and he wouldn't listen then started to cry. He said I didn't love him anymore and it made me cry. It doesn't mean that you let him in your bed. He didn't... Jesus fucking Christ. You can't even... This, this shit is foolish. <laughs> I've never seen any such bullshit in my fucking life. I've never seen oh, any such bullshit in my entire life. He was like, I'm 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 this is foolish. This is foolish. That, that mini solo was pretty good. Have I tried finding other predators like Sokol? Uh, no, I have not. Man. Can you rewind it a little bit? I want to. Oh, hear I already did. I already make did. that sound again. Okay. <laughs> I'm just waiting. Uh, Dinosaur Tornado wants to know if you can hear him. That I can hear you. You can hear me. Well, I can hear you. Can you hear me though? Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay, I can hear you. Can you hear me? <laughs> Alright. I mean, I'll go back a ways. Why would you just let him get in your goddamn bed? That is a good one, Bastard. I like that one. I'm fucking believable. I think this is far enough back. Rotor hasn't tell. had a match yet. He thinks I'm his wife. I told him and he wouldn't listen then started to cry. He said I didn't love him anymore and it made me cry. It doesn't mean that you let him in your bed. He didn't... Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ. <laughs> this, this shit is foolish. I've never seen any such bullshit in my fucking life. Fucking horse shit. <laughs> you know how to come yeah, not he, get in your bed. He just short circuited right there. Tell him to stay in bed. his bed. Tell him to stay in his bed. Um Will's amnesia coma came on from COVID somehow. His heart stopped on COVID twice or something. Something like that. I mean it doesn't really have to make sense, does it? Nah. Punk Pansy says, uh, "Hello, credit card place. Was the was there anything you overheard his family or friends say that made you say, wow, uh, you're also a shit bag.' Also, are there any Lauren's fave foods you think are act that actually sound good? Butterscotch Rice Krispies sounds like they'd be good. Thank you, Punk Pansy. Um, as, as far as his family being shit bags, I mean, they are. They, I mean, it sounds like." It's a shit show at the Armstrong house. I don't know. Yeah. I don't think they're all, like, great people. Lorne's definitely the worst one. Yeah, Lorne is by far the worst. Um, but, yeah, they're all kind of shitty. It's just like, you know, they... Lorne, Lorne has a reason to be shit on, I think. Where, the, as the others, maybe not so much, you know. My opinion, of course. Also, uh, food that Lauren think his favorite foods that he thinks sound or do they sound good? None of them. Mm -hmm. Mom's chicken pie looks awful. Uh, door dogs sound 
uh, unappetite, uh, unappetite, <laughs> unappealing. I don't want to eat anything that he touched. No, no. Pedo gravy. What about pedo? <laughs> pedo gravy. Yeah, I'm, I'm. I'm working on it. Um, I'm trying to think of what else he eats. Bits and biscuits and gravy, but I guarantee the way he makes it's just disgusting. I don't know. Nothing, I guess. But I think that he gets like sausage gravy from a can and just puts it on toast. Yeah. I don't think it's like actually biscuits. You know? Oh yeah, that's a good point. He didn't even have biscuits. Yeah, he has no seasoning. There's like he doesn't know what what. Uh, flavor is it's just he he cooks his burgers on a heating rack like that should be enough to tell you that <laughs> <laughs> like a grease fire just start up in the front yard the man he put cinnamon them. sugar in his burgers and was like this is good <laughs> yeah <laughs> what wrestler would you like to see cut an absolute barn burner promo in front of uh, on Lauren in front of in front of a mania crowd. I'd say William Regal. MJF. MJF, yeah. Like MJF would be good at roasting him. He would just make everyone laugh at him, but also you boo him somehow too. That's how good he is. What is doesn't he put he puts sugar on something weird, right? Like he, he puts sugar on like, um, on the pasta he made, the vegan pasta from the uh, that's channel, right. which is fucking weird. In my opinion. All right, all right. Let's get back to him saying it's foolish. God damn, I'm fucking so tired of this shit. <laughs> Sorry. <coughs> he's just sleeping. What's the problem? I don't give a fuck if he's just sleeping or not. What was I to do? It calmed him down. I don't care if he is just sleeping or not. That's not the point. He has his own bed. You're in a damn hospital. You guys have already been through it. You, you do enough shit to fucking overload my brain as it is. <laughs> Full stop. He was confused and Call me when you get him. What was Call I me when you get him. Calm him down. Call me when you get him out of your fucking bed. Calm I'm down. fucking tired of this shit. He's mad. Uh, I would love to see you cut a promo on him. Count of three. Just so you know. Um... So he's pretty upset, Blue Boy. Is that that's some pretty good rage, right? Yeah. I mean, it was worth going through the uh, the closet talk for at least. He's he was very upset. This is very early on in their relationship too. I think it's like two months in. But he does continue. I think Will shows up. Hello. We'll wake up. We'll wake up. Jimmy's trying to wake him up with a robot instead of will, just like moving will, him. Will, <laughs> will, will, will. Well. She's not the uh, brightest bulb. I'm trying, Lorne. This is, this is fucking ridiculous. It's un. un uh... Maybe he's in another coma and he can't wake up. What is the problem? He's just sleeping not supposed to be in your goddamn bed. He has his own bed for a reason. You're my fiance, not his. When he tried to get in your bed, you should have told him no. Regardless of him crying or not. He has clothes on, not. and he isn't touching me. A hospital bed is not very big. He's got a point How there. can he not be touching you? Sometimes Lord makes a good point. Yeah. I mean inappropriately. The most foolish things happen with you guys. He loves that word today. So foolish. Unbelievable. Foolish? That's a new word. Where'd you learn that? Sesame Street. <laughs> yeah, right. What am I rewinding to? Well, uh, Dan, how far back do you want to hear it? We'll watch uh, Sheffrey and Rod, this mixed tag match. 
while we wait. He didn't say supposed to be. My fiance, not his. When he tried to get in your bed, you should have told him no. Regardless of him crying or not. He has clothes on, not. and he isn't touching me. The hospital bed is not very big. How can he not be touching you? I mean inappropriately. The most foolish things happen with you guys. I don't know if I'm far back enough, but we're just going to keep running through. Sorry, bud. Unbelievable. Foolish? That's a new word. Where'd you learn that? Jeffrey's fighting mm -hmm. Rod right now. Oh, fucking egg. <laughs> <laughs> you need to get in your own bed. Why? Why? Who cares? Lorn, you are on speaker. Why are you talking hey, to Hey, Will. Why are you talking to Lorne? Will. Hello? Jamie is not you. Hey. Hello? Jamie isn't. Can you hear me all right? Hello? Okay, before he finishes this sentence, uh, what do you think when you're like, when you're talking to someone who just got out of a coma and, and may have amnesia, what do you think the first thing you should say to them is? Well, you gotta, you gotta make it clear that he's not dating your girlfriend. It's exactly Not right. like, how are you feeling? Yeah, how you doing? I was worried about you or anything. No, let's what's go right the last, to the... What's the last thing you remember, even? You know? Yeah, get right to it. Just get right to it. Hello? 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 Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hey, Lauren, it's Will. Hey, Will. How's it going? Jamie is not... Jamie is not your fiance. Uh, Jamie. says who? Jamie is my fiance. Um, no. You and Winnie are together, yes. You I and Winnie are together. I got her a one thousand dollar ring, and I got down on one knee and proposed to her at a boardwalk. That, well, you did that from me. <laughs> That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. It is. Well, it is Winnie. the stupidest thing. <laughs> it really is. Why? You're with Winnie. That's oh, so that's dumb, great. Lauren. <laughs> Can no, I talk to Winnie? I haven't talked Winnie. to her in a while. I know. Is Winnie she's there? in jail. What? Winnie is in jail. What'd she do this time? She didn't do nothing. Well, then why would she be in jail? Jamie's ex-boyfriend was at her house. What? Winnie went home. Winnie, Jamie's ex-boyfriend, Jamie, why was Derek. your ex-boyfriend at your house? Jamie's ex-boyfriend, Dirk, was at her house. And Dirk? Lauren, when he she left... Hit? Yeah. Um, I, I don't think I've heard that name after. before. Yeah. <laughs> it's real original. I believe it's for a different one, though. Surprisingly enough. I didn't know. You? Did you put her in jail for domestic violence? <laughs> well, I'm in Maine. You know that, right? Yeah, I assumed Winnie was in Maine by now. No, Winnie's out there. She was waiting for you. She was you crying guys are her, together. Calling her... No, you and her are together. She was no. calling your ass off because no. you were in ICU. No. Yes. No. Yes, Will. Yes. No. Yes, Will. No, we've been Will. together for a long like, time. Like, why even Will? argue with Will right now? Right. Will has no capacity of understanding what's happening, right? He, he, he's <laughs> in his own little world. And he's like, oh, we're going to get... You're going to listen to me, Will. fucking let Will have this one. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I remember this match now. Uh, Rotor got them DQ'd for not going back to her. Family. Well, it, it, it's only been a few days. A few days of what? You've been in a coma. What? You've been in a coma. No. For about the last three or four days. Yeah. No, I've been yeah. here with Corona. You 
you've been in there with corona, but it, it put you out, and you was in a coma for a few days. What? It put I hate to interrupt the call, but uh, the boys are up here at uh, Lullet Club. Do you want to explain who they are real quick? Um... Well, it may not we be have clear, silent, but... silent Rick and Dump Truck Man. Yes, Dump Truck Man is on the right. Silent Rick is on the left. Took liberties with how they looked. But you won't. You was in a coma for a few days. You Beyonce, actually is this true? Beyonce. Yes. What? You actually, you actually died for about five seconds. What? You actually died for what? about five seconds. Yeah. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. No. And you've been yes. in a coma. Um, uh, this is, uh, this is, wow, I, uh, my head is spinning right now. I, I, oh, I, no. well, it's, un I feel it's dizzy. understandable. Listen. I feel dizzy. Listen, Will. Uh, Listen. I think I might throw up. I think I might throw up. Just... <laughs> And the Academy Award goes to. <laughs> that was a great. It seemed very realistic. Yes. I forgot about Tony's entrance. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> old Spice t shirt. Oh yeah, I forgot right. the Old Spice for a while. He, he no longer wears the Old Spice, guys. Sorry. Disgusting. Sorry, fiance. You alright, Will? Sorry, yeah, I just puked on my Beyonce's chest. Okay, but she's not your fiance, Will. <laughs> That's the clear. She's yeah, my she is. fiance. No, Will. <clears throat> yeah, she Listen is. Listen to me. No, she's not. I proposed to her. I remember it vividly. You, you, you did that for me. That, I that asked is, you to that, do Lauren, that. that sounds so stupid and made up. I don't even Will, believe you. Will. <laughs> You're just I trying to trick to me to get that. to my fiance. No, I'm not, Will. When he has, when he has been to the hospital to see you when you were in ICU. No. I haven't yes, seen Winnie has. in months. You haven't you haven't seen Winnie since you've been in the coma. No, I haven't seen Winnie in months. It's been about four days. No, it hasn't. It's been months. No, it's been four days. It's been months. Well, you've only been in the hospital for about a week and a half. No, I've only been... Uh, this is Tony... Uh, Tony Fama is in the ring. <laughs> is in the ring right now. I mean, wow, that entrance is just as brutal as <laughs> the first time I saw it. Uh, sure. I was gonna uh, a little Festus, a little. Uh, he's like a zombie. He rose from the dead. Yeah, he's the he's the ECW zombie, and he's teaming with this Dunder in the hospital for a couple days. Do you remember Cashew? What did you call me? Do you remember Cashew? Is she... Hang up on this piece of shit, Beyonce. Call me fucking names. No. Hang well, up on this piece of shit. Cashew is your <laughs> raccoon. It's Winnie's raccoon. Why would we own a raccoon, Lauren? That is so stupid. <laughs> what is that? Well, okay. I tried to tell you that, but you wanted to let Winnie do what you wanted oh to do. Oh my god, whatever. Uh, for context, uh, Winnie was trying to capture... <laughs> A raccoon in the backyard and Will was letting her and then Will said if you can catch the raccoon thinking she couldn't uh, that she could keep it and she did and called it Cashew and that's because and that was ahead. supposed to spark Will's memory apparently apparently these are the these are the things that Lauren's <laughs> gonna do to help Will remember things one I am engaged to Jamie also do you remember the <laughs> raccoon you guys had <laughs> um, it was named Cashew because Will uh, said that Lauren, Will called Lauren Cashew uh, based on the way his wiener looks and uh, Lauren thought that they were calling him gay because of Peanut Arnold so the raccoon was named Cashew there you go or you're just making stuff up oh my god why is this guy lying to you all the time why are you even talking to Lauren to begin with well, Winnie is in jail right now for suspicion of murder. So you lied and got her arrested. Don't for tell murder. Will this stuff Did you now. Say she killed. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, stop trying to stress him out. Will Winnie is in jail. Will uh, okay. <laughs> We're in jail for murder, and you're not married to your wife. God, just an asshole, Roy. <laughs> Listen, 
Jamie's ex-boyfriend was at Jamie's house when when he was there. What? He took care of he took care of the raccoon for Winnie so that she could go to the hospital to see you. It's ridiculous. She went back. Yeah, it's very dumb. And Dirk had uh, shot up. Who? I guess heroin. Dirk, Jamie's ex-boyfriend Dirk, had shot up heroin, and he overdosed, and he died. And, and Winnie was there. I was on the phone with her when she walked in and saw her. And she hung up on me. Please she was panicking, trying to there. wake her up. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Will's trying to, like, Will. what? kill her up right now. <laughs> yeah. That's my fiance. Shut the fuck up. She's my fiance. <laughs> God damn. Uh, this guy just fucking doesn't overload, Jamie. Huh? He doesn't overload. I'll go back a second. Uh, what does that even mean? I, I don't even know. But yes, Jamie is sitting with a chest full of puke right now, I believe. I don't think that... <laughs> That's <laughs> true. She never cleaned up. up. <laughs> That's my fiance. Shut the fuck up. She's my fiance. God damn. Uh, this guy just fucking doesn't overload, Jamie. Uh, how, how could you even possibly let this stuff happen? Unbelievable. Just fucking unbelievable. Why are you blaming me? That's a great question. Well, you hey. want to hey, be that buddy. fucking close to him. Listen, buddy. You want to be that close to him, Hey, Jamie. stop yelling at my Beyonce, you piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know... Lauren's got away with words, and he's definitely going to convince Will that he knows what's going on, and his memory's going to come back. Hello? Why are you blaming me? You wanted to be that close to him. Uh, Blue, I have a quick question. Uh, what was Lynn's reaction when Casey told him his singing sucks? Um, I just... I think he just didn't, you know, he doesn't believe it. He doesn't want to hear that you say that. He's like, well, everyone else tells me the singing's good. Yeah, I don't know if and then he acted like a little baby. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you know this, but there was a time where Lauren was singing in, in a bedroom with his hand on his chest while he was a child, and his whole family came out and, and watched him from the other room because they loved it so much. So you tell me that guy's bad at singing. Yeah, he just pouted and acted like a bitch. Little baby boy, you know, all the time. Yeah. Baby boy tantrums. I told him he doesn't remember. There's nothing I can do, and then he's trying to put his hands on you. Why did you call him back? <laughs> See, now he's talking to you like he owned you. Hey, Lauren, it's Will. Well, he's talking like Lauren does. Yeah. That's exactly it. He's just acting like Lauren, and it's funny that Lauren will say those kinds of things, but when you tell Lauren he's doing those types of things, he's like, No, I'm not. How dare you? It's crazy. I can hear you. Yeah, I think I think there's something wrong in your mind or something, but I'm going to have to ask you to, like, put a little distance between you and Jamie. I think you guys are a little too close. <laughs> well, that's great. you have your wife. Jamie is my fiancé. You... Jamie, I don't know what the fuck to do about him. Nothing. No, you want to be this fucking <laughs> close to him. You want to be so fucking close that he could fucking actually make a mistake I like this. What I don't understand is, what is the harm in letting Will believe this for a few days or however long it takes him to get his memory back? Right, like, they're not going to have sex, they're in a hospital. Right. And, and like, Jamie and Lauren both know that that's not the case. The people that, yeah. that need to know, know the, know the truth, so it doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things. Also, I don't know if you caught that, I'll, I'll go back a few seconds, but Lauren is blaming Jamie because she let him feel comfortable with it. Something oh, like dare that. She. Did you call me? So, you want to be so fucking close that he could fucking actually make a mistake I like did this? So that's a. You got so close, you. Yeah, he made a mistake like this? Yeah, this match is going pretty hard. Tony just got laid out. Did you call me? Hello? Oh, you'll pick up my my Beyonce's calls, but not mine. <laughs> so Will called him a couple times and he didn't pick up. So then he called from uh, Jamie's phone and he answered. And of course, that's that's just what you get. So hello. Okay, Sue, so just 
Please stay in your own bed. Oh, it's Mark. Person per bed. Mark's voice is is just the most ridiculous one of all of them. <laughs> I mean, I don't think it, if you if I met <laughs> someone with that voice, I'd be like, you need to start. You need to do some cartoons or something, buddy, because he's something else. Right, man, I'm sorry. You're you sound like a pretty cool guy. <laughs> You sound like a pretty cool guy. <laughs> That's really weird. Can you leave? Lorne, he can't yeah, remember. He Give him a break. Be understanding. What's wrong with you? Be understanding when he's trying to put his hands on you. There is really? not. A, there is not a sex boy in '87 wrestling yet, but we should add him to the list. Oh, definitely. Then you let him use your phone to call me? Oh no. We'll almost die, but all you think about is yourself. I tried to explain to him he doesn't want to believe me. I'm not going to be happy about him putting <laughs> his hands on you. He can't remember, Lorne, that is the point. I know. That's why I tried to explain to him. He still doesn't want to believe me. Um, someone wants to know if um, there's any more Alex sex boy content on the way. Mm, I don't know. Honestly, there's like a there's a, some calls I haven't listened to. No, I hear you, man. I, I, so. It's hard when people ask me for specifics like that. Like I was asked how long the amnesia thing lasted. I have no idea. Uh, no, but Mr. Canopy Man is on the list. He will probably make an appearance in 87 Wrestling at some point. Then why would he listen? When I, when I say it plain as day. He doesn't remember it that way. Oh my god, Tony just... I'm as so many tired years of shit. He's, as he's had he grabbed with my winning. phone, I didn't let him. As many years as he's had with Winnie, right, the only one that he should be remembering as his wife, or that he has any kind of relationship with had... like that, is Winnie. Yes, Lord. Uh, that, I just don't understand. Like, yes, Lord, he should remember his wife, but he has amnesia. Right. Yeah. He doesn't. He's not going to listen to reason right now. Right. You can't. I don't know. Uh, Ramona's diaper. Fuck, he's for, annoying. For your question, real quick, uh, Bunky does wrestle, and he is tag team partners with. Do you want to name his tag team partner? Joran. That's right. Steal a toy. <laughs> tag team. Is one really questioning why he doesn't remember differently? Yes, he is. Um, yes, that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Like, holy fuck, dude. Yeah. Are there calls that Maggie Joe talks to Lauren? Um, you know, maybe. You should probably hire Russo. That's a good point. We should. Bunny. I'm upset that he's like this too. It's not. Are you? It's not. Well, like you it. separated when you and her were together. You don't control how he sees things, Lorne. That's so stupid. Well, no kidding. But the only he's been with Winnie so freaking long since they were in high school. He, Winnie's the only one that he should ever remember. I like that Lorne's dictating how amnesia works. Yeah, might be a sign that maybe you and him are too close. <laughs> he doesn't oh, remember fuck. Lair and Rover. That's upsetting. What's your point? Stop making this about you. I'm not making this about me right now. I'm just pissed that he put his hands on you. Um, All Might, can you, can you, uh, what do you mean by does the robot have another YouTube channel? Also, uh, these are not uploaded for community download, uh, Brayden, sorry. Uh. I don't know if I can undo that or not. Also, uh, Grunt, 
126 says, apologies if this has been answered before, was there ever a time both of you wanted to rage quit the catfish saga and be done? Maybe exhausted from it all and uh, or real life came up? Also, can't wait for Dave Meltzer to <laughs> match reviews to come out for this. <laughs> for this one. Dave Meltzer's gonna give these like one stars. Um, Blue Boy, was there ever a time where you wanted to rage quit? Um... The cat fishing? I don't know. Um, not during a call, weirdly. It, the text messages, I think. Just getting the text all day long text is very brutal. frustrating. Yes. When you're like at work, like in a meeting, your phone's just like, because Lauren won't shut the fuck up. Yeah. Um, uh, that annoyed me a lot. And um, the fact that if you didn't answer those, there was more text telling you that you didn't answer and then there'd be voicemails saying you're not answering him and then you'd get like 14 calls you know <clears throat> i think when he's being really boring on the phone is when you want to rage quit like stuff like this is frustrating to hear him talk like this but at least this is funny yeah but when he's just sitting there and he's just like talking about you know roy just talking oh, shit talking roy yep. or something about the closet i'm just like holy fuck dude yeah that or or just the like when you would get all There'd be like he'd have nothing. He'd demand time, and then when you'd get yeah. on the phone, he'd have nothing, and he'd just sit there and be like, "Oh, you're so precious." And it's like this is what we're doing with our time here. This is what. You oh, have. what he would do to Casey all the time was be like, "I have something really important to say." And I'm like, "All right, what is it? I'll tell you over the phone." I'm like, "Okay, well, it's gonna be good." And then you get him on the phone, and he's like, oh, "Roy got drunk today." And you're like, really? Like, that type of shit, would, that was when I wanted to rage quit. Yeah, that would do it. Definitely, that would do it. I can't tell you over text, it has to be over the phone. Yeah, this is important. He did that all the uh, He did it the robot, yeah. too. He's like, I have urgent news that needs to be talked about. Call me now. And then you get on the phone and you'd be like, Today I went and got some sheet rock. What are you wearing? What yeah. are you doing? It's like, what the fuck are you talking about right now? Um, All Might says I asked because the robot was in a channel by the name of, uh, Kib Kib I, no, not that I know of. The, the only channels that the Jamie robot are on is this one, well not on, but audio, this one, and Heelborn, so, if that answers your question. Look at the Lolly Club. That's upsetting that he doesn't remember Lair, because he was crying before about Lair. What an asshole. <laughs> Just telling people that. Jesus Christ. Oh. Jesus. I'm in a hospital bed, and you just blamed me a handful of times for this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I did that. My lord. I let my emotions override my brain. Let his emotions override his brain. A dinosaur tornado asks, uh, how often did Lauren bait you to call? Lawyer called, talked to Julie, talked to Stacy, only to get upset when you found uh, out he, he just wanted to talk to you about the closet or something. Every, I, every time that happened, every time yeah. he said that he has some big thing he needs to say, I'd call him and I'd get right to it. And he's like, so that's why you called, huh? Yeah, because you told me to call because you had that information. Yeah, you told me to call. There's one call I have, I don't know what episode it is, but he he wanted me to call so bad because it was something really important. I call him, he's like, you can call me, you don't have to call me right now. Right, like, just are you sure? It sound like this was urgent. It was nothing. Yeah, yeah, he, I'm trying to think, I can't think of a specific example, but there was a lot like, my lawyer, my lawyer called me, uh, okay, what's up? So you want to talk about? You yeah. I got a letter in the mail today. Yeah. All right, read the letter. I'm not going to... Why would I read the letter? What, you yeah. Wanted, that's why you want to talk to me? It's about the letter? What an asshole. Look at the doctor. So cocky. Shove your sorry up your ass. Oh, Jesus Christ. You really going to... Uh, thank you, Grant, by the way. I didn't say it so early. 
You are so rude and selfish you just lash out without thinking about others. I just told you I let my emotions override my brain and I am sorry. It's a weird way to word it. It's a very weird. It's a Lauren way to word it. Yes, and blamed me for will not remembering. You are the ridiculous one. I agree. I let my emotions get in the way. When he put his hands on you, it just made me lose them. Hmm. You are telling a man who can't remember things what he should remember over other things. So you see how stupid that sounds. Uh, real quick, the doctor is not part of uh, Eminem, but he is a part of Money, Inc. with the therapist. He does kind of look like John Morrison. He does a little bit, yeah. Should have given him the, uh, should have just called him Johnny Doctor. Yes, I do. <laughs> Lorne is building a castle and reborn and the boys. That's a good one. That is a good one. I don't know what to do about it. There's gotta be something that can jog his memory about winning. Saying the sorry makes things. everything okay. <laughs> Where did you learn All right, that? Dude, uh, how long are we gonna have this same conversation where you bitch me out? Jesus. Is there something that we can jog his memory with about He's yelling at me. Oh, you said sorry, now I forgot about it. Oh, wait. No, I didn't. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, the red pants do kind of give me a disco vibe for him. Warren, comment, Iraq, comment. You did this face your action. Basby, he does think that the power of love is going to bring Will's memory back, but it's the love that him and Jamie have for each other, not, not Will. Uh, has the robot or Casey ever uh, farted in Lauren's ear to ruin the conversation? I recall Tiffany saying Winnie ripped a loud one. Uh, no, I don't recall that ever happened. <laughs> no, I don't think that happened. Kind of avoided all that. Not even avoided, just <laughs> in her I just never had that idea. No. <laughs> That's the power of love. That's what we're Yelling at me here. for something out of my control. And you call yourself a man? Oh, really? You really want to say that, huh? Use it? Doesn't know what that means. Yes. Unbelievable. It's fucking tech bad on to worse. Tech bad. Bad on to worse. What? I just got a text. I gotta hang up so I can see if it's Even a guy with memory loss tried to stop you from yelling and blaming me. Speaks to your character. Roasted. Jesus Christ, Jamie. <laughs> Can't you stop? Why would you do that? I just got a text. Jesus probably Christ, my blow Lord, come to you. I just got a text, and it's probably my blow test. I need to check and see. I'll text you right after I, I see you, okay? Give a shit. <laughs> All right, figures. Will. All right, guys, that was Will Has Amnesia Part 1. Uh, Blue Boy, what'd you think of that? You never heard it before. I liked it. Yeah. Definitely Form dragged crazy the start, in it. but... Yeah, you know. It's got Sometimes, a great uh... explosion halfway through. Yeah, just because it highlights how ridiculous... I mean, the whole thing. The whole thing is stupid. Just Will has amnesia. The... <laughs> I don't know what the fuck there was going on about a, the, the raccoon. Yeah. Um... Yeah, the raccoon. Know. It's just hard to believe someone believes this.
Yeah, it really is. But I mean, honestly, in the grand scheme of Lauren's, like not life, but you know, at, since he got out of prison, amnesia and a, and a and a raccoon are very tame. I mean. You know, a woman ran from TSA into the streets with dogs chasing her. You know, that's just everyday stuff. I didn't think it was good when Will was acting like Lorne, and Lorne said, look at him trying to control you. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think that's great. It's it's funny when anyone throws Lorne back at him, you know, like, acts like him. He thinks that that person is just a piece of shit. Yeah. That's how that. Overall, uh, I'd say this call was a good eight out of ten. Well, thank you. And I wasn't expecting a review, but I appreciate that. Um, <laughs> God, look at the doctor go. Um, well, guys, that's it for this week. Thank you all for coming. Thank you all who donated. Um, I uh, I don't know if I have much else to say. Um, Next week, I guess we'll listen to part two, Blue Boy, if that's all right. Yeah, sounds good. I think he tries to talk to Will. I don't know if it's as exciting as this one, but I do think that Will frustrates him a bit. I, I can't remember. I'll have to go back and check if it's even worth playing. All right, guys. Well, uh, Blue Boy, do you have anything coming up that you want to plug? Um, I might be <laughs> on tomorrow as Black Boy mm. with Wes. I'm not entirely sure. But maybe. Um, okay. And I think when I'm on next, we'll be listening to an unreleased call. I can't remember if it's good, but... it's It all yeah, starts to bleed it. together. It's kind of hard to keep track uh, of what's yeah. good and not. Um, awesome. Well, I will be there. Um, Punk Pansy says, um, is there an after party at night? Also, uh, have you, also, have you had to explain the Lauren fishing to anyone in real life don't know uh, for question one two um I didn't have to I guess but I did what, what was the second part of the question uh have you ever had to explain uh the Lauren fishing to anyone in real life um I've never had to I've tried explaining it to people and they just think I'm crazy mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it happens it is fair it is fair um, man, I don't know how long this match lasts for. I was gonna say we can play out the rest of this match, but I don't. There's still like a, another 15 minutes on this thing, so uh, we'll pick this match up and the call next week. Thank you all for spending your Sunday with me and the wonderful Blue Boy. We will see you next week. Stay safe. And thanks for stop boy. <laughs> okay, bye everybody. I don't know all the words of the song, honey, but I like the chorus. Again, oh yeah, you're the love that rescues me when the cold winds rain. Then you're so amazing. That's just how you are And I can't turn back now Cause you brought me to the fire I need you like water Like breath like wind I need you like mighty sea from heaven's feet There's a freedom in your love And it carries me through There's a freedom in your heart. I hear you, Snow Sunny. I need you.
I love you. Bye.